Where is it? Escort? Major Tuet? Yes, but I requested no escort. You are due at the President's conference in ten minutes. That's correct, but I don't require an escort. I have my authorization, Major. I don't doubt your instructions. Who's this? Let's call him a willing assassin. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, it is time for us to start our conference. And time is the one thing that we are short of here in Ilkhami. Will you please take your seats, gentlemen? Please, be seated. Well, first of all, gentlemen, let me welcome you all here. President's conference, sir. Not late, I hope. I have your pass, Major. I know that you have many differences. This is possibly our last chance to resolve them. Our quarrels have been watched by many enemies outside of our little country. Enemies who are only waiting for the chance to step in. We must do all we can to come to terms at this meeting. If we do not, our last chance will have gone. I trust, therefore, gentlemen, that at this discussion... Excuse me, sir. There is a telephone call for Major Tuart. Apparently, it is very urgent. Which of you is Major Tuart? Sir, please excuse me. This way, Major. Think on what I have said, gentlemen. And now, let us start our meeting. Major. Sonia! Help them. Help them. McCready, one of the champions, possessing, with Craig Sterling and Richard Barrett, incredible powers. Survivors of an air crash in the mountains of Tibet, where they met a people of an unknown civilization who mended their bodies and endowed them with fantastic skills. A morning swim and the length of time spent underwater that puzzles two men who watch. Just another of their super qualities which remain their secret. Super qualities which are now used to their best advantage as the champions of law, order, and justice. Operators of the International Agency of Nemesis. Well, 
I think we've seen enough of that. El Hami has never been the most stable North African state, and as you've just seen, it's now verging on anarchy. In fact, I give it one week before civil war starts. Any idea who was behind the bomb incident, Romain? Well, obviously someone who doesn't want peace there. El Hami has some very greedy neighbors. And large deposits of cobalt. Well, fun, Craig. You've done your own work. I'm interested in cobalt. So are a lot of other people, especially those who want to make atomic warheads. So that's the assignment? Yep. And make no mistake about it. The government of El Hami is tottering and could fall tomorrow. Now, we don't want that to happen because it's in the interest of international peace to keep the country stable. Do we go to El Hami? Uh, no, only Richard. I want you and Sharon to go to Rome. Of course, the Bay. That's it. Ten years ago, the people of El Hami deposed the Bay and his family and they went into exile. Oh, Is this what you had in mind, Tremaine? What? Well, yes, I suppose so. Um... <clears throat> well, that's the position, gentlemen. Uh, your job, Richard, will be to tell the President that the Bay is returning. We know the rival parties will accept him rather than put up with each other. So somebody's got to coax the Bay home again. Well, he's our only hope of restoring order. By any means available, I see. Isn't the Bay a little old for Sharon? He's over 70 years old, you know. The Bay is dead. Don't tell me. He had a son. That's right. We'll find him at that address. Now, I don't think you'll have any trouble with him. He, he's always short of money, so you can buy him if necessary. Or um, use any other means to persuade him. Well, it's all perfectly simple and straightforward. You just have to remember that he must return to his own country quickly before he goes up in flames. Well, that's it. Off you go. Bye, right, Sharon. Good hunting. I must be getting old. notorious, but they are never obvious. She's pretty, don't you think so? When you've seen one woman, you've seen them all. Coraline? Hello, Saeed. You enjoying the party? Enormously. Good. Well, why not? You're paying for it. You know the bay. He jokes at everything. Who's that? Who is she? Don't you know your own guests? Not that one. Come on. Sonia is right. She's an English girl. Very cold. I don't believe it. remember inviting you. Sharon McCready. You're very welcome. I'm... The Bay. 
of El Hami. That's a laugh. Wouldn't you like to go back? <laughs> you can't be serious. The bay has been ambushed. Do you know what's going on in your country? Should I care? They're on the verge of a revolution. Let them all kill themselves. El Hami means nothing to me. Now get out of my way, little English girl. Or you may get hurt. I must speak to you privately. This place is too noisy. You're asking for trouble. <laughs> Let me go! This was becoming such a dull party. On your feet, muscles. Thrown by a lady. <laughs> what exactly do you expect to find, Mr. Barrett? I wish I knew, sir. Well, the bomb was carried in a briefcase and planted here by one of their men after he killed Major Tuart. And no one saw the killer? Oh, yes, they saw him. A man in uniform. And who remembers the face of a soldier? Mr. Barrett, uh, we are very grateful to your friends, but um, they will never get the bay to return. My friends are very persuasive. How do they mean to get him here? The flyman. He would never arrive. Our enemies would see to that. They, they, they're very determined, very powerful. I, I fear that your plans will run into trouble, Mr. Barrett. We have many interests against us here. Our enemies would wish to destroy any attempt to bring peaceful conditions back to El Khami. Our plan was to fly him here in a roundabout way. We've arranged to route the bay from Paris to Rome, from Rome to Madrid, and Madrid here. Even your enemies would never think of that. It's fused. We know all we need to know, Hassan. I'd like to book a call to Rome, please. Offering you fifty thousand pounds. Fifty thousand. No deal. You need the money. Not now, I don't. I see. I thought you said everyone had gone. Side is my guest. A paying guest? Hello. How are you? I'll take it in my room. That won't be necessary. <laughs> Miss McCready is leaving. Hello, Said here. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Those people exiled my family. But they're your people. I want to live, Miss McCready. Good night. I don't doubt that that's what you heard. By air, they said. I checked. They booked the bay onto flight 701. That's impossible, I assure you. The bay is with me now. Hold on. Your Highness? Your Highness?
Hey, you're gonna play this hand, or aren't you? This looks like a Chinese laundry. Uh, how many did you take? Three. I'll see you. Three eighths. What's the matter? Listen. I don't hear nothing but the wind. Listen, will you? Hospital at Chula. Yeah, but I don't get it. How did you land? Luck, I suppose. Yeah, lady's right. A little bit of luck and a uh, lot of the altimeter. We'll be moving on pretty fast, though. Got to get our friend here to the hospital. Move on. Yeah, but you can't take off in this. Why not? We landed. If you'll be good enough to refuel the plane. Now, look, matey, I don't know how you got here, but this is a staging post for Kaiser Oil. I'm the controller. And this is my radio operator, Mr. Branko. My authority. Do you want to query it? No. Good. Now, if you'll be good enough to refuel our plane, you'll find it about uh, 50 yards north of here. Well, we didn't expect you. Nobody no, I'm not surprised. It was a sudden emergency. <laughs> well, what's your route? What are you asking all the questions for? Well, I... Um, sorry, um... Uh, Tula, we're um, 
Going to Tula. Let's see. Here's, um, here's post 47, yes? And there's the hospital. You're going over the desert? Well, it's direct. Up by the Alhami border? Yeah, I guess so. But listen, lady, the frontier's closed. They're on the point of civil war. You've got 100 miles of Bedouins and thieves between here and Tula. Not up there, we don't. We'll be okay. And uh, our company doesn't want any trouble with the Arab authorities. Oh, no, no, no. I understand that. All right, we'll go along with it. Now, you better stay here for a while. It's take the two of us to refuel the aircraft. That's great. Thanks a lot. We'll just make ourselves at home here, okay? Okay. Come on, thank you. I think one of them recognized the bay. Why do you think I sent them to refuel the plane? We're going to take their jeep. Let's go. Our guest is very happy, Sharon. You don't know what you started. Saeed and his friends have a big organization. They'll never let you get me back. Did you ever think why? Of course. The first sign of trouble in El Hami, and they'll move in. Don't you care? Why should I? Saeed paid me good money. What about your people? Let them kill themselves! If we've got to listen to this, I don't think we should have ever let them take those bandages off. Why do we have no news of them? Why do they not tell us where they are? Well, tell us, and it might tell the enemy. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. And they must know by now that the bay wasn't on that flight. And with all the friends they have in that area, I mean, Craig will have enough trouble without our interference. Look, they must get the bay through. <laughs> We should just go on. What? Through the rock? 
We're gonna have to go back before we go on. They're out there, all right. Three at least, maybe four. They're looking for our friend here. Well, the Desert Telegraph's working as well as ever. Hear that? Getting ready for the turkey shoot. Of them. Oh. They already pulled out. They can afford to wait for another chance. Hey, you better have a look at them. What do you think? He'll live. You did this. It was you. While the men on the rocks just watched. They're my friends. Save your breath, Sharon. Come on, we'll get them back to the jeep. Oh. No. Right. Oh. He tried to kill me. Not Craig, Your Highness. Your friend shot at you. Only because he was there. They came to help me. They just want to see you dead. You still think you're going to get me there? We're still trying. There's a long way to go yet. And Saeed won't give up. Your Highness, that is the first thing you have said that I agree with. Start again? We're going to have to rest up soon. And quicker than you think by the look of it. That must be our escort. I hope they're friendly. You know, they say we're, we're soon, soon going to find out. out. Shall Allah be with you? And with you? He needs rest. Uh. 
You come from Tula? Yes. And you travel into the sun? Yes. Him, he'll... Be at peace. Thank you. I must look after my friend. Go to him. He is well. Thank you. How is he? He's hanging on. He needs proper rest and care. What? What? He's got more courage than we thought he had. Hmm? What is this tribe? I don't know. They speak a dialect I've never heard before. I was listening to them just now. I noted the sounds they use most often. Let's have a look. There are variations on the plural. There's man, plural, men or strangers. Mm -hmm. What is that, the verb to be and to have? Well, if we listen long enough, I guess we'll be able to break it down. It'll give us an advantage. Right. Where are we? In an Arab camp. In Al Hamid. No, we've still got a few miles to go. The strange people. Do you still think he tried to kill you? No. Said and his band must be well on to us by now, yeah? Yes, they must be out there somewhere. We're taking chances, whatever we do. We better stay here for the night, for his sake, anyway. What do they say? These men are not from Tula. Are they talking about you, the sick man? Something about a messenger. He sleeps. You'd better leave him.
Make sure they go no further. Tell them we'll pay the sheik whatever he wants. Nothing is too much. I want them dead. <laughs> Apparently, they have reached the Sweetwater Oasis. So, a few miles from the Lamy border. A few miles is enough. The tribe will kill them for the bribe that I have offered. And it will be politically acceptable that we had nothing to do with it. Trouble? Could be. Anyway, there's no sense in taking any chances. First sign of danger, you beat it out of here. I'll meet you both north of the camp. And leave the jeep? Yeah. We're going to be better off on foot from here on. They know who you are. The tribesman has arrived. Saeed offers money, a fortune to them. To take me back. To have you killed.
Is this the place? Yes. This is the place. What happens now? You wait. you ordered is waiting outside. The news is traveling through the city, through the country. Everybody rallies to your name, Your Highness. Your people know how much they need you. They know what they owe you. I am owed nothing, Yosef. The debt is mine. The debt, Your Highness? I shall stay here and do what I can to rule. And you shall help me. I'm sure the people welcome him, Mr. President. But if the revolution depends on one man, even the Bay, you'll always have to be on your guard. The Bay is a man who crosses the desert to join us. He passes through the tribes, untouched. He has been sent by destiny to lead us. Perhaps there's still fanatics like Saeed to be caught. They'll make another attempt, sir, believe me. You mustn't take any risks, at least for a while. Please. You have all done more than I deserve. I am amongst friends now. Your ministers are waiting to meet you, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Perhaps. But angels cannot stay here forever. What we do now, Yosef, we do on our own. <laughs> 